House bill filed could change how minors busted on drug charges are punished. And already one state district judge says he is backing it. Action 4's Wendy Aguilar explains. Under House Bill 642, State Representative Terry Canales wants to help juveniles battling with drug-related offenses get out of the abuse cycle by educating them. There is currently nothing in the code that requires a, a juvenile offender to take a class such as we are uh, would be mandating. It, people are looking at it saying, you know what, why haven't we done this? Why haven't we been doing this already? The bill filed just last week would provide education and rehabilitation programs for minor offenses instead of having them serve time in a juvenile detention center. There's a lack of a follow through in the juvenile justice system when it comes to educating the offender uh, in, instead of um, rehabilitating, we're only punishing. Juvenile Judge Jesse Contreras agrees with this piece of the legislature. Already, Contreras has made changes to how his court handles teens arrested on drug-related charges. We have life classes already established for first-time offenders. He says since 2009, the repeat offenders have dropped from 39 percent to only 25 percent repeat offenders. The whole premise that we were established is to rehabilitate kids. We're not here to punish kids. Instead, they have counselors and probation officers who work closely with the teens and their families. He agrees this bill, if passed, would provide much needed support to go along with their current programs. Right now, a minor child, a juvenile coming before the court with minor charges that needs rehabilitation, we send them away. We send them away to outside the, the Hidalgo County. Why? because we lack, we lack programs. Representative Canales is confident his bill will be approved because in the long run, he says it will save the state a lot of money. I think at the end of the day, the less people we have in jail and the less people we have repeating crimes because we've educated them, then we've saved money in the long run. And that was Wendy Aguilar reporting. It could take a few months before the bill is approved.